Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. Um, not this is fine, that is fine, that is fine. This is the tricky one. So this is my son wants the switch leading up to some lights, some LEDs. Uh, and he says, I just want the switch to work. Well, these are all easy to connect. That's no problem. I'll show you that anyway. But this is the little monkey. So when you turn him around, you think, oh, it's only two-way switch on and off. That's it. Okay, so we go back. And if anybody else has bought one of these, this is what you need to do. <laughs> okay. So I get you, make sure you're in focus properly. Okay, watch this. Oh, it's a socket. It's a cigarette lighter socket with the switch just pushed into it. So it's a bit of a swindle, really, you know. If anybody's got one, I'm just showing you. So the only way around this, I think, that I'm going to have to do is to cut this off partially with an axe saw. And then, but I'll show you how to connect this, this switch up anyway. So all the rest will be connected to a block connector. So where are we? I've got that somewhere. This. So I'm... Because you don't want like um, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, all running back to the battery. All you need is a block connector and uh, maybe do three with live, two neutral, and then just put a loop. You've seen this in other videos, and I'll show you what I'm doing with that anyway. So that's quite straightforward. So um, I'm going to get some wires cut and then spade the ends off, and then we're going to connect them because so, this is, will sit inside a little box this hasn't got a box yet this is just as it is he hasn't bought or he's got a box coming for it so this will then sit inside a box this will fit inside the box as well either one of these screws through here fitted to the box and then this will be like um, a ground sort of block connector and partially live and I'll show you that because you only want one wire going to the battery uh, this is my battery I'll be using as a demonstration he's got a battery in his own garage it's just an old wheelchair battery we got which is really good with a bit of crude connections there but it's only just for show right so I'll get things ready and come back to you what I'm going to do quickly is just strip the uh, outer casing off pretty straightforward it's on 1.5 no 2.5 is it 1.5 can't see that properly anyway there we go I've cut three equal strips of wire, which is quite heavy duty speaker wire, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, there's not a heavy voltage going through this anyway. It's only LEDs. Just going to twist the ends and all three, and then we'll drop some spades on. And this is just for the, uh, the USBs and the, I'll just do one set and then I'll get lost pause while I get on with it. So. These came with it, line them up till you push it in, till it hits the, you'll feel it hit the, the base here. And then it's blue, so blue on your crimpers. And there you go, just give it a couple of crimps. That'll do. And then, and on these wires, the one with the white, with the black line on will be the live. That's what we're gonna go for. All right, same again, push him in. Blue, crimp, pause. Okay, three crimped. There we go. Okay, strip the other ends. What I'm going to do is make three live uh, block connector and two for the neutral. There's not much going to go in. It's only a, it's only a one-way switch on this really, and some USBs just to charge his phone in the shed. Um, so I've done that. Um, they're quite decent. I think these are 30 amp block connectors. So undo them. The thing is, it depends how many you can fit in one. If you can fit them all in one, it's fine. It doesn't matter. You're not going to overload the system or anything. So I'm going to put live this one. So all the blacks with the, the white with the black line on. Make sure you get them right. I don't know if they'll all fit in one block connector. if we're going to do that actually they might you know the so black line black line 
black line. I'm just saving and see if they can all go in. Yep. Nice fit. Hold them in nice and snug. Sorry, I'll tilt the camera down a bit. Is that better? And then tighten these up. If you wanted, if the wires were a bit thicker, I'm doing this for a demo, demo, demonstration purpose, really. Okay. If the wires were thicker than these, then what you could do is put a loop from this one to that one, and then these two become. You can put a. You put a loop to that one. You can put the battery coming into this one, and this would make these two blocks live. If you put another loop, it would make all of them live, and you could use any one of these. That it's just quite a simple trick, really. So I'll just pull these back a bit more. And then these three we'll put into one of the, the negative block. You got me, you got me, you got me, you got me. Right, let's have a look. So let me just undo that. Pause. The little noise in the background is just a fan going. I've got them in the van out of the way. I don't get disturbed. Right. So this is the negative block. Same again, if you wanted to make the block bigger, you would just put a loop from well, this one to that one, it doesn't really matter, and then put the battery to it. So now, what you've got here is you've got a live block and a negative block, okay? So what you could do now, we could take the battery straight into here, and the live and the neutral into that. And then these will all be active. Um, so we'll do that now, actually. So take it alive from the battery, which is the black and white, stripey, and then I'm taking a neutral, which is a plain white from the back. It can be red and black. I'm just this is just demonstration. Okay. And now what should happen? What you do as well? You put an inline fuse. No, no, you wouldn't. Yes, you would. You'd put an inline fuse on the live, which I'd probably do that. But also, you'd have a switched, a, a switched um, on say on the battery here. You'd have a, a switch on the live to isolate it. That's what I'd do anyway, which I have done in the past. Okay, so I'm going to pull the neutral out of the battery just temporarily, and then what we'll do now, we will connect up. These lot now it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which one you connect to but it does matter which way round. Okay, so they've got the voltmeter at the bottom and it's got a positive one side and a negative the other. So the live would be one with the black wire. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna look a right plonker. Right, so push them on. Then we've got the next one, which is a live, and we're going to use the top one. So uh, black positive. That's a good tight fit. You want that anyway. And then the negative. Just double check it. Positive and negative. You can see that. Just get it close. Positive, negative. Okay. Positive, negative. And this is the USBs. So we'll connect them up. Where are we? Black, positive. And negative. So these are just straight connections, okay? So plugging the battery back in now, we should have some sort of life and focus. Right. There we go, 12.8 volts coming from the battery. And then we've got the USBs. There we go. I think these will be controlled with like a resistor inside this. So you've got 5, point, uh, 5 volt, 2.1 amps, and 5 volt, 2 point, well, both 2.1 amps, it doesn't matter. So there you go, and then we've got the cigarette lighter, which doesn't have a light on it, but there you go. It's got no bulb. I thought it did have, but it's quite a cheap one, to be honest with you. But he said he's never going to use that anyway. I don't, I don't think many people do now, do they? So there we go. So we've got the USBs. That now we're going to wire up the switch, which is a little bit more complicated. So I'll get myself together and sort my wires out, and I'll come back in a second. Okay, on this one you have to bear with me a little bit because there's no positive or negative. 
Um, I have a give it a quick test and I know there is a live in the middle. So what we'll do, we'll put a spade on. I've just done another piece of wire. So we need the direct live going in and then this is the switch wire to a bulb and I'll show you what I'm doing with that. So we'll do another connector on here, which is the live. Now these aren't the best spades. This is just a demo. Some of the stuff hasn't come with this light switch and it's got pieces missing. So I'm just doing it if anybody else has got the same predicament. So there we go. All right, so we'll crimp in. Now he's going to be alive and he's going to go, I know it is, to the middle. It's a good fit anyway, that's a good fit. So, And now we've got to find the negative, so just bear with me. Because I need to connect then, I need to, well, I'll do this, I'll connect this now to these. So I will put this one, which is a negative, so I can share that, because there's enough room. Otherwise I'd put a loop across. So let me just do that first. Put the live to the other block connector, which we've got a spare. Okay, so put him over there like that. Under this one. Make sure they go home nicely, tuck in. Don't want any bits, no frayed wires showing out. We don't need electrical shorts or anything. Hold on. Big, big hands. Let's get that in properly. There we go. Okay, hold it in. Right, there we go. So now we have a switch with a one live going to it and a neutral so i'm just going to connect the battery back up again because on it the switch there'll be a light whoop that's not that side so that's definitely not that side okay so there we go so that's the light so this is the live to the middle and then the negative to the light okay so we can spade this and put that one there no what are we doing and just check that, hold on. Yeah. Now we've got to figure out the switch. And I think I've just, no I haven't, hold on one sec. Okay, first cock up. Right, I'm going to take off the spade from the live because I want to connect the live from the light. I'm sorry, because I'm trying to use this. I'm, these lights haven't come yet, so I'm using my light. So I'm going to take the live off the light and I'm going to join the two wires together and this will make this side of the light live and then they'll both be joined both so the light will become live but it won't be switched until we use the switch which I'll show you okay so push them both home it should go in together I'll just double check sorry cameras I broke my tripod. I'm still waiting for one to turn up. Right. Okay. I'll go through it again before I finish. Right. So we've got the live now going to the centre of the switch. And then what should happen now if I get this? I don't want to... There we go. So now I'll put a spade on this one which is my neutral. Like so. And that now it makes the not it makes the switch live but only for the light at the moment because then we've got the negative left for the light. So if I connect that now. Okay. So there we go. So if, as soon as I turn this on, we should have a light. No, we haven't. Why have I done that? Live, live. Right, okay, let me correct myself. All right, so I've got 
neutral to the top of the switch, live to the centre of the switch, and I forgot to realise that it's actually a switch, it's not a neutral live, it's actually a switch, this bit, okay? So let me just put a connector on that. Uh, there we go. Right. I hope this is not confusing. Right. From blowing myself up. Right. Okay. So what we've got here, I forgot that on one part of it, the switch is, is it's not alive and a neutral. It's a live neutral. It's a live neutral and a switch, which is live as well. So that's where your connection must go from for your light for your LEDs. Okay, so what I've got here is a live to the center going to the live block. I've got a neutral to let's say the bottom of the switch with the live well, it's not a neutral. I've got a it is a neutral in theory, but well, it is, isn't it? It's a switch going to the bottom. I hope I'm not confusing you. Sorry if I am. But anyway, it works. So yeah, you've got live, neutral, and switch, and that's it. So there's your switch. So you've got a live, which is also for the bulb, and then you've got your switch for your the dubris, and it's quite, it is quite straightforward once you suss it out, but I'm just being a thicko today. I've done a few of these, but they come with no instructions. There's no positive or negative on the switch. The switch is just fitted inside a cigarette lighter, so it's a it's a bit of a poor jobby, but I thought I'd try and shed some... Shed, 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 shed some light on it so i hope this helps somebody sorry it's been a little bit confusing but i'm confused as well a bit um there you go so i've got a neutral to the bottom with a live going to it someone will probably correct me which is fine i don't mind being corrected it's fine i love it because i love to learn okay and i've got a neutral to the top on the switch and a live to the bottom and then the switch is now as you can see there we go what I'm trying to demonstrate is you've got your battery there, a bit of a crude terminal connection, but, but it wouldn't be, it'll be crocodile clips onto a main battery. And then you've got your block connectors here, which is your two, a two block connector for your negative, a three block connector for your life, but I'm saying you can still loop. So you've got that to contend with as well. You've, you've got all your USBs working, the cigarette lighter is working. The voltage reg, which shows you what voltage is, which I use on mine because I need it for the solar panel. And then this will pop in afterwards after I saw it off. So just take these off and you can put a bit of white, um, you know, uh, what they call it? That stuff, that your Tipex. And just mark your sort of your, your, your two lives or your neutral, whatever you want to do. But there you go. And if someone wants to correct me, please do leave it in the, in the description down below. If you like the video, like it. Uh, thumbs up subscribe share if you could thumbs up is great for the video to the channel i don't do i don't do patreon i just do this for fun um done a few of these now uh there we go thanks very much for watching take care and i'll catch you in the next video